Good afternoon, my name is Tom Brinsonoff, Certified Master Mechanic from Reading, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to talk about how to know when to change your oxygen sensor. There's a few different times in the life of your vehicle when you're going to want to change your oxygen sensor. The easiest way to tell is if you have a check engine light on and your mechanic or you come across the code for the O2 sensor. That's a good indication you need to change it. Now, a couple other times you need to change your oxygen sensor. They should be changed now, I'm a little bit on the excessive side. I say every 30,000 miles because they do have a big factor in your fuel economy. If you have one or two of them that are, are starting to go bad or get a little contaminated and they don't trip a code right away, um, they could alter your fuel economy a, a drastic way. And your, even your engine performance will be affected by it. Um, your second thing, like I said, 30,000 miles. Um, the other thing you might want to, to change, um, if you ever blow a head gasket, when you're dumping that coolant down through your exhaust, it contaminates those oxygen sensors real fast. Um, typically, it won't trip a code for you, but you will notice it in your fuel economy afterwards. And anytime you, you tune up your vehicle, you change your spark plugs, your fuel filter, and all that stuff in your air filter, it's probably a good idea to change it at that point in time, too. But uh, outside of having your, your check engine light on for an O2 sensor code, it's a good rule of thumb is every 30 to 40,000 miles, you might want to change it.